Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to create drop-down lists that also change the colour of the cell when a particular value is chosen within the drop-down list. So I've got a little database here and a couple of the fields, priority and resolved, need some drop-down lists. Now the values for those drop-down lists are on another sheet, in the list sheet. Priority, one day, five day, 30 day, resolved, yes and no. So to get those drop down lists within this sheet, I'm going to start in the priority field. I'm going to click into one cell only. I'm going to go up to the data tab on my ribbon. And in the data tools group, I'm going to click on the data validation button. In the data validation dialog box, I'm going to make sure I'm on the settings tab. And in the allow menu, I'm going to select list. Then in the source box, I'm going to go to the lists tab, lists worksheet tab, and I'm going to select my priority values one, five, and 30. Click on OK. So now I have that drop down list in this cell. Later on, I'll show you how to copy, uh, easily copy or get Excel to automatically copy the drop down list down to other rows that you uh, use within your database. So resolved is the other field that needs a drop down list. So I click into that single cell on the data tab. I go to data validation on the settings tab. I select list from the allow menu. I click into the source box I then go to the lists worksheet and I select the two cells that hold the values that need to appear in this list. And now I have yes and no. So very simply within this field, if I select no, I want the background of the cell to go red, just to indicate to the user that it's a non-resolved issue. So what I do is I select that cell, I go to the home tab on my ribbon, and over in the styles group, I click on the conditional formatting button. I then go to highlight cell rules, and within that menu, I select equal to, and the, condi the condition for this format is the word no. So if no appears in the cell, by default, it will format it with red fill and dark red text. If you didn't want that format, you can choose a different format from the drop down list. So if I click on OK and I select no within that list, I get a red background. If I select yes, I don't. Now for priority, we do something slightly different. We'll say one is obviously high priority. So maybe we'll have a red background, then amber, and then green for a 30 day priority. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and I'm going to say equal to one. And for one, we'll choose green. Click on OK. So if I chose one now, it's going to be green. In fact, I think I said I was, that was going to be red. So this is quite useful. I've made a mistake here. So how do I amend that? I can go to conditional formatting, manage rules. That brings up this dialog box, conditional formatting rules manager. So I select the rule that I've created and I go to edit rule. And now I can change the format. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking on the format button and I'm going to change the, uh, the green background to red. I'm going to go to the font and let's say we had the font as white. Click on OK, click on OK, click on OK. So now if I choose one, I get a red background with white text. If I choose five or 30, nothing's going to happen because I haven't set up a rule for those values. So let's continue to set up some rules. So still that cell selected, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to, well, the uh, next value is five. And we'll say for that, we're going to have a yellow fill with dark red text. So if I chose five, I get yellow background. And then I just need to do the 30. So I go conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to 30. And we'll go for green. Click on OK. So if I choose 30, and now I'll get a green background. So I've got conditional formatting on two of the fields. How do I get those rules of data validation rules for the drop down menus to copy down to subsequent records. And how do I get that conditional formatting 
to automatically copy down to subsequent records. But what I do is I convert this range that makes up my database into an Excel table. So I select the fields that make up my database. I go to the Insert tab on my ribbon and I click on the Table button. This just confirms the range of cells that I'm using for my table and also that I have headers at the top of my table. So I click on OK. Now, if I just filled in this data with today's date, a reference number, property one, the street, issue type, uh, roof, uh, priority 30, deadline, well, that would be equals this plus the 30. Click on OK, and I'd need to convert that to a date. I only have to do this the first time. So resolved no, and that gives me a red background. Now, if I press tab in the last cell of that record and come down here, I can put in another date, 20th, reference to, to the street. And let's say it was guttering. Priority, let's say on this occasion it's five, so I get a yellow background. Deadline's automatically been worked out for me because that form has been copied down. And you can see that that conditional formatting has been copied down. And this would also be a no. And you can see I also get the red fill on this new record. And I can continue to do that. Just press tab when I reach the end of the record and it will automatically copy down all of these features that have been added to the initial rows. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. Creating drop-down lists that also change the color of the cell.